Hey there, fellows. In today's video, we'll be experimenting with a LOT engine. Specifically, we're going to be doing a 4 to 2 stroke conversion with a LOT motor. This is a fully functional 4 stroke engine we have here, everything is good. I mean, it's worth a try, isn't it? So let's take a run of the mill 4 stroke LOT engine and turn it into a run of the mill 2 stroke LOT engine. Okay, let's do this. Four stroke to two stroke engine conversion. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, so here's where we're at with the two-stroke conversion. It's a simple enough concept, but it is really difficult to pull off. The reason for that being, well, this required quite a bit of arc welding, as you can see. Curious how all of that is going to hold up, though. I mean, we're fairly confident. It will, because we've done this sort of welding plenty of times in the past. But I guess we'll see. We've obviously cut out some intake and exhaust ports. The mixture will obviously enter the cylinders via the intake, and the exhaust gases will exit through their respective ports. And since the pistons reciprocate in pairs, we have gone ahead and uh, conjoined them. On the exhaust side of things, we'll just leave the bare ports for the time being. The reason for that being, well, you're probably aware that four- and two-stroke engines have very different sounds. We're in the process of putting together some housings. Those are going to be the intake valves. We'll be placing them right here. And there's more to it. For the valve to function, you obviously need some composite epoxy. As for what we'll be using as a cylinder head, well, the initial idea was to use a regular old cylinder head. But we decided that'd be boring, and so we'll be using this. It's just a regular old metal plate that doesn't have any valves. To hammer home that this is indeed a two-stroke engine. We've got bungs that'll allow fitting the spark plugs and so on. And just the bare minimum of welding, in order to prevent warping it. Though I reckon something might have already slightly shifted while we were welding all of this. Arc welding does mean a lot of heat. Things are gonna move around, and there's really not much you can do about it. It's almost impossible to remedy. But this just doesn't have any other options. We simply have to get it to work. And it will. As for the fine-tuning, well, that's gonna be a delicate process, isn't it? But to all of us who know the difference between a two- and a four-stroke engine, it's fairly obvious that the two-stroke unit is going to be way more powerful. The trade-off for that is going to be longevity, of course, but we have to get this up and running. From there it'll become clear. So let's finish piecing the whole thing together, and without fitting into a car. That's to maintain access to each and every side of this engine. We try starting it on an engine stand, and then fit it to a car, as long as we can get it to run. Yeah, fit it to a car and see what comes out of it. Okay, well, let's carry on.
So check this out, guys. You would have seen us try using a starter motor to turn this, and it doesn't quite have enough power to get this to work. And so we've gone ahead and fitted it to a car. Without the starter motor or any of that. And take a look at how we set up the ignition system. We've gone and overhauled the distributor, and the Hall Effect sensor is now essentially dual phase. Also, we're running four switchboards, and we've got a motorcycle carburetor on there. The reasoning, of course, behind that was, well, this is a two-stroke engine after all, right? It has to be tuned accordingly. And this was the simplest way to go. Anyway, it's all in place. We're looking good, and now it's a matter of finding out if it'll work. What we're gonna do is tow the car around, pick up a bit of speed. I'm not talking 90 Ks, but we'll go as fast as we can around the complex. That should work for us. So we'll basically be attempting to pull start it. We doing this? Right, let's try this out. Numb. Doesn't want him. What seems to be the matter? Where are the puffs and bangs? Where's the... Okay, guys, so here's the situation. Unfortunately, all of our attempts so far have been, well... Duds. It did cough a couple of times, but then refused to do anything. And so we've gone ahead and... Faded a carburetor for a lot of them. The reason for that being, well, this does have what's called a an acceleration pump, meaning we can send a fairly precise amount of fuel into the intake manifold uh, by using the gas pedal. It also has a bit more volume and so on and so forth. Overall, we didn't really make any major changes in here, with the exception of replacing the carburetor. Which gives us hope that we might even get this engine to run. You see? There we go, come on. Nope. Almost. Almost there. And that's it. Or is it? Come on now. I think it's running slightly better. At the very least, it seems like it's more willing to start. Come on now. So look here, guys. We've done a few modifications. First of all, we removed that long square tube manifold we were running. 
This engine was so close to starting, I mean, it was popping, banging, we saw smoke, and the flames even melted some of the wiring. I think there's every chance that we'll see it run. We are getting there. I mean, this is an experiment at the end of the day. As we're all aware, this engine is meant to operate slightly differently, but I reckon we will get it to work as a two-stroke. I am super curious to see what comes out of this, so um, let's continue. The sound would lead me to believe it's running. It does need help, though. What's the deal? It does work at low revs. It works at low revs? Well, by works, I mean it's trying to. It's trying to, yum. That's too much air. Too much air, you said? I think it's pulling in too much air. I'd say too much gasoline. Let's dial it back to 50%. You call that 50? It's literally blocked off. Okay, so where does that leave us then? The engine that we converted to two-stroke from a regular lot of four-cylinder... We almost got the four-stroke to two-stroke converted mill to run. We're not quite there yet, but we think we know why it's not starting. Now, to give you guys a brief summary, we of course might be wrong, let us know if you think we are. The point is, we can't seal off the chambers in the crankcase for each individual cylinder. And when the pistons that reciprocate in pairs create a vacuum, well, two and three move intact, and they seem to be firing much more actively than one and four. Yeah, one in four didn't want to fire. At the end of the day, there aren't any seals between them, and despite our reasoning that nothing should be blowing by the mains, or that any blow-by would occur slowly, it appears that we were mistaken. It looks like we do have vacuum, or maybe it's even excess pressure, uh, leaking between the chambers, and we don't have a stable vacuum. That would allow the engine to pull in the correct mixture. I mean, at a certain point, you would have seen us feeding it directly from the drip in an attempt to get it to work. But despite all of our efforts, the results are not what we were hoping for. That being said, at times, it even seemed to fire, as you would have seen. It's not going to come through well on film, but it was producing power, though it couldn't sustain it for long. It'd only be able to do it for, like, 
one and a half to two seconds tops. Then it'd bog, refuse to do anything. We'd fiddle around with the butterfly valve. It'd pull in some fuel, fire again, and then just give up once again after that. In any case, we are moving in the right direction. If anybody out there is well versed in two-stroke engines, why don't you hit us up in the comments? We'll happily read what you have to say, I mean, we just have to get this to work. We really want to successfully convert a lot of four-banger into a two-stroke. This actually has decent potential, four cylinders, sizable displacement, and as we all know, two-strokes tend to be more rev-happy and can deliver quite a bit more power. Yes, they don't last long, but that really doesn't matter. Getting this to run is what's important. We more or less understand where we went wrong, and we'll be happy to go through your comments. We'll think everything over, and we just have to make us a two-stroke motor based on a lot of four-cylinder. We really want it, but for now that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later.